Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Heavy Yields, where we aim to make finance and fitness easy and accessible for everyone. Today's episode is all about interest rates. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, Lockie, interest rates are all we ever hear about at the moment. I know what they are. I'm sick of hearing about them, but just bear with me. You might learn something that you might not know, and then it'll all be worthwhile. In today's episode, what we're going to cover is what interest rates are, who sets them, what the cash rate is, and why mortgage interest rates differ from the cash rate. So let's dive in. So to put it simply, interest rates are the cost of borrowing money or the reward for lending money. They're expressed as a percentage of the amount borrowed or invested, which is known as the principal. Interest plays a crucial role in the world of finance, influencing savings, investments, and loans. Central banks like the Reserve Bank of Australia, or RBA, the Federal Reserve, AKA the Fed, which is the United States Central Bank, or the European Central Bank, AKA ECB, set key interest rates to manage economic growth inflation and financial stability. These key interest rates, like the cash rate, which we'll touch on in a second, impact other interest rates throughout the entire economy. The cash rate, also known as the policy rate or the base rate, is the interest rate that central banks themselves charge on overnight loans to commercial banks. Now, if you've been paying attention, which I'm sure everyone has, you would have heard that recently, uh, today in fact, at the time of recording this video, that the RBA has elected to keep the Australian cash rate at 3.6%. The cash rate serves as a benchmark for other interest rates in the economy, such as those on mortgages, personal loans, and savings accounts. So you might be thinking, Lockie, if the RBA set the cash rate at 3.6%, why isn't that what my mortgage rate is set at? Well, basically it comes down to three main factors. One is credit risk. Two is the fact that the banks wanna make a profit on that loan in the first place. And three, the features of the loan itself. Starting with credit risk. Lenders face credit risk when they provide loans. Borrowers with a higher risk of default are charged higher interest rates to compensate the lender for that increased risk. Because let's face it, you or me are considered a riskier borrower of money than a bank is. Second are profit margins. At the end of the day, bank and other financial institutions do aim to make a profit. So what they do is they charge a margin on top of the cash rate to cover their operating costs and generate earnings. Now this typically sits between 150 to 250 basis points or 1.5 to 2.5%. And thirdly is the features of the loan itself. Mortgage interest rates can vary based on the features such as whether or not they're fixed or variable loans, the terms of the loans itself, and the repayment options, you know, whether it's over 5, 10, 15, 20, or, or 30 years, it's really up to the bank or up to you as the borrower. Now, before I go any further, it's worth clarifying that that one and a half to two and a half percent premium that I described before that the bank is going to charge you on top of the cash rate typically only applies to your average mortgage rate. Now that is because if you're taking out a mortgage, that loan is secured by the house. And that's quite a fair bit less riskier than if you were to take out a personal loan, for example, and buy a car because the car is going to depreciate or not hold its value as well as a house is going to over the course of the loan. You've got to remember that it's all about risk for the banks and they want to earn a profit on the loan that they're giving you, but also should things go poorly, they want to make sure that they're going to be able to get their money back or at least some of their money back. Now that brings me to the term default or defaulting that I used before as well. 
Now, when I say that, that refers to your ability or inability rather to pay back a loan. So if you were to, to hit some tough times and you, you can't pay it back anymore, you're going to default on that loan and the bank is going to repossess your house in this example. Now that we've learned a little bit about interest rates, I'm going to touch on their impact on the economy, which I'm sure we're all aware is pretty significant. Interest rates impact the economy in three main ways, consumer spending, business investment, and inflation. A high interest rate environment makes borrowing money more expensive, which means the average consumer, you or me, is less likely to borrow money to buy a house or buy a car or borrow money and spend it on whatever you typically normally would. This therefore discourages consumer spending and slows economic growth. Now with business investment, a high interest rate environment discourages businesses from taking on more debt, borrowing money from banks to undergo expansion or taking on new projects, which also in turn slows economic growth. And thirdly is inflation. Central banks use interest rates to control inflation. When inflation is too high, as it currently is right now, central banks may raise interest rates to reduce spending and borrowing. On the flip side, when inflation is too low, central banks typically cut interest rates to encourage spending and borrowing to get more money flowing in the economy, which increases economic growth. Now stay tuned for a video on inflation. Again, it's another pretty hot topic, which I'll be covering very soon. And there you have it. In this video, we've covered the basics of interest rates, who sets them, what they are, what the cash rate is, and why mortgage rates differ from the cash rate, and some other crucial concepts that fit into this very important part of the financial world. I hope this video has, gained, has helped you gain a better understanding of interest rates, but also given you a bit of a context to what this channel is about and for what's to come in the future. Interest rates play a massive part in the financial world, and it's really important to understand them as we start to build on this the further and further we go along our journey. If this video has helped you out, please help me out by hitting that like button, hitting subscribe, giving me a follow on Instagram, whatever it may be. I'd love it and really be appreciative of your support. And remember, we're all in this together. If you have any questions, want to share something, want to share your own thoughts, please feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to them as we go along and as we continue to learn together. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. I'll speak to you soon.